two, know your meme, or the return of the king. See, there's no most good way to switch. Where's my movie? Show yourself. Be careful. Even a defeat, Saruman, is dangerous. disseminated virally. That means that it isn't being mass marketed, you're not seeing advertisements or commercials for it, it's being distributed directly from audience member to audience member. I see something I like, I send it to 10 people. They see something they like, they send it to 10 people. It's not everybody getting it from the same place like the movie theater, we're all spreading it amongst ourselves. And it's something that's only really been possible with the internet. And I want to show you three memes today. Uh, one of the key components of memes is not only that they're spreading, but that there are multiple variations and riffs and spoofs and parodies of those memes. So it's not just one file, but something that everybody is actively engaging in and remixing. So I want to show you three memes that are all related and which tie into each other. And I'm going to start with an older one. So, in 1986, a gentleman named Charlie Schmidt recorded a video of his cat named Fatso. <laughs> about a year before Fatso passed away in 1987. The video resided in his personal archives for another decade until he uploaded it to YouTube on June 7, 2007, where it sat in relative obscurity for almost another two years. On... Let's see. You said 87 to on, on February 7th of 2009, Brad O'Farrell found this video and asked its creator, if he could remix it a little bit. And Charlie Schmidt said, sure. And thus was born a new meme known as Play Him Off Keyboard Cat. The original simply being Keyboard Cat. And what Brad O'Farrell did was juxtapose Keyboard Cat with an example of a fail. <laughs> so <he's got> <laughs> harkens back to the days of vaudeville. When an actor was on stage performing and his performance was very bad, he would get the hook and be dragged off stage. However, if he was ejected from the stage prematurely, the next act may not necessarily be ready, 
Therefore, to entertain the audience while waiting for the next act, a clown would come on and just fill up the time with his pranks and antics. Keyboard Cat is similar. He's basically saying that your video is so bad that I am here to rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> the original Play em Off Keyboard Cat video that Brad O'Farrell uploaded is no longer available, but you can find a variety of these on the interwebs. They're everywhere. Uh, I actually had the opportunity to meet Mr. Charlie Schmidt and Mr. Brad O'Farrell at a convention where I also got to meet Mr. Jason Scott. And I actually got to take a picture of the original onesie that that so was wearing. <laughs> Wow. Keyboard Cat's original shirt. Charlie Schmidt has also take that picture. What's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just play it back later. Charlie Schmidt has uploaded cool. new videos since then. He has an, a new cat, which he says is basically a reincarnation of Fatso, and he plays the bongo drums. <laughs> so you can find these videos and more at youtube.com slash chuckyart. Now I'll show you a new <coughs> meme that just started a few months ago. Um, oh, by the way, the uh, original Keyboard Cat video, 17 million play views, or play, uh, page views, quite a few. Now here's a new one that just started on April 5th of 2011. And it currently has, no, nope, not that one. <laughs> Hold on. Mm, this one. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> this is the whole video. It is a cat with the body of a pop tart. <laughs> Flying through space, burning rainbows, to the sound of yan yan yan. It's the yan cat. Oh it goes on for three and a half minutes. <laughs> if that's not enough, somebody has modified it and uploaded to YouTube a version that runs for three and a half hours. How <laughs> <laughs> they get past the fifteen minute limit? I saw I saw a fifteen minute one and it was slowed down so you could hear the yan a little better. This currently has twenty six million page views. <laughs> what? <YouTube>. What? <laughs> Why? Well, it's not exactly a new phenomenon. Why not? Um, I mean, there is historical evidence of turning cats into food. You're, I'm sure you're all familiar with cat bread. Oh, yes? No, no, no I'm disturbed. This <laughs> is not something you can <laughs> But now to remember. Nan Cat became very popular, and within a few months of it being uploaded to YouTube, YouTube themselves decided to get in on the fun and participate, and they actually changed the Flash player for this one video on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> nice. This feature is no longer available, but when it was, you could actually hack your embedded videos on other sites so that any video could have this slider. This people have been making this in Minecraft as well. Oh my. Building giant neon cats. Uh, and there, <laughs> so even though this feature is no longer available on YouTube, there is a hack for Windows that you can change. <laughs> and I'll provide that link in the show notes. Uh, but yes, the ANCAT is everywhere. But as I said, it's all about the variations. I think we're done with that. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. And so it was not much longer. Uh, that original video was uploaded April 5th. And then on May 18th, a new one was uploaded that has currently about 1.3 million page views. <laughs> Live action Yankat. Going the other way for space. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. And this goes on for about, you know, three minutes. Or maybe two. <laughs> 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 but it gets better when it gets to the very end. But it stops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Look, there was Senator's membership after that. Is that like the end cap man? I guess someone, I guess someone has to be. That kind of, it's a tough job. Wow. Reminds me of the early Where's days. Wow. And finally, there's more, and we should be done in just a few minutes. Uh, a, another video was uploaded just last month uh, by a lovely young woman named Debbie, who will now take the opportunity to introduce your, herself to you. Hello, my name is Debbie. Um, this is my first attempt oops, um, at a eHarmony video. Um, this is my first time at online dating, so I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. Um, so I'm just going to start talking about what I like and hope I get some replies. Um, so I am a recent um, MBA grad from Villanova. Um, I love cats. Um, I just, sorry, I'm getting emotional. Whoa. I love cats. Um, I love every kind of cat. <laughs> sorry, I just, I really love cats. <laughs> um, I just want to hug all of them, but I can't, because it's crazy. I can't hug every cat. <laughs> But I just want to. I want to. Um, I'm sorry. I just, I get, anytime I hear cat, I just, I like cat. Um, that was my book. I want to cry. Um, so anyway, I am a cat lover. Um, and I love to run. Guys showed up in the first act. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about that. <laughs> Is she in the furries? <laughs> I think about how many don't have a home. <laughs> I, I should have them. And how cute they are. And the other ears. And the whiskers and the nose. I just love them. And I want them. And I want them in a basket. And it wasn't a little bow tie. <laughs> I want this to be on a rainbow at the same time. And I just want a house full of them. And I just want us to roll around. <laughs> I can't. I, just, I can't. Would you guys euthanize your cats and tear down the house because it won't be able to reason. That was Debbie. <laughs> Has the APA named that disorder yet? <laughs> yes. Uh, not, not, have they? I'm, I'm yeah. But this, yeah. Now you may remember last year I showed you a meme known as Double Rainbow yes. where a gentleman stepped out of his backyard into his mountainside and was just in awe at the majestic view he beheld in front of him. A group known, I think, as the Gregory Brothers, I may have that wrong, turned that into a music video, yeah. which I also played for you. Yes, I remember. Those same musical remixers oh, are back, <laughs> and they have turned Debbie into her own music video. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. This is again? my first attempt at a eHarmony video. I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. So I'm just going to start talking about what I like. I love cats. I love every kind of cat. I just want to hug all of them, but I can't get on every cat. Get on every cat. So anyway, I am a cat lover, and I love to run. I'm sorry, I'm going to get cats again.
you can songify your life with our new app, Songify. Now you can songify your own life with our new app, Songify. I just talked to me on my phone and now it's a song. We're living in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do have one more video, but I think we're running late. Do it. Do it. Okay. Yeah. Lunch can wait. It's actually not as funny as the last one. I probably should have shown it. Don't show it then. Yeah. Well, yeah. How many people know Chad Vader? Yeah. <laughs> it's Darth Vader's younger brother. Uh, he was in a bicycling accident and fell into a volcano, so he has to wear a mask. But he is the night shift manager at Empire Supermarket. And uh, he did his own riff on Debbie. Hello, my name is Chad. Um, this is my first attempt, oops, um, at a eHarmony video. Um, this is my first time at online dating, so I'm nervous, but I am excited at the same time. Um, so I'm just gonna start talking about what I like and hope I get some replies. Um, so I am a recent general manager from Empire Market. Um, I love beats. Um, I just... Sorry, I'm getting emotional. I love beats. Um, I love every kind of beat. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I really love beats. And I just want to stalk all of them, but I can't. That's crazy. I can't stalk every beat. But I just want to. I, I want to. I want to. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I get, anytime I hear beat, I just, I love beats. Um, whew. Starting to fog up, Rust. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I am a beat lover, and I love to bike. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about beats again. <laughs> it just, I think about how many get thrown out, and how... I should buy them, and how tasty they are, and the leaves, and the stems, and the roots. I just love them, and I want them in a shopping basket, and I want little bow ties, <laughs> and I want them to be on a rainbow, and it's in my bed, and I just want a house full of beets. I just want us to roam around. I can. I, I can. <laughs> By the way, this was totally fake. I really don't care that much about beets. Turnips, however. Turnips are so wonderful. I, oh, oh boy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Turnips. <laughs> So the worst part of what I've shown you today is the Gregory Brothers song, Can't Hug Every Cat. You will be stunned at how catchy it is, and how often you'll find yourself playing that video and minimizing it in the corner of your screen so your coworkers don't notice you listening to it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's just you, Ken. <laughs> today it is. Tomorrow? You know, wait, it'll be just you. I don't think so. I think I have infected all of you. It's the nature of the meme that spreads virally. So thank you very much for knowing your meme with me. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, sir.